Hey everybody, Maz Jobrani here with our Persian Words of the Week. This week, I'm gonna teach it with help from my teddy bear, Homayun. All right, our first word is gonde. Gonde means big, okay? Big is gonde. Then we add guzi. Guzi is a variation on the word for fart. Then we add nakon. Nakon means to not do something, all right? We put all three together, we get gonde guzi nakon, which does not mean don't do big farts, but rather it means don't fake brag. Like don't, don't, don't show off in a lying way. Like if someone's doing gonde guzi, they say something happened that really didn't happen. Like they'd be like, you know what? I got into Harvard University, but I called them up. I said, guys, Harvard is too easy. I'm not coming. Then Oprah Winfrey, she called me, said, come be on my talk show. I said, Oprah, darling, I don't have time. I'm busy with my real estate development. Oh, and then the movie uh, with Mark Balberg and his teddy bear called Ted, you know, it was based on me and Homayun. <laughs> gonde guzi nakon. Hey everybody, Maj Urbani here with our Persian Words of the Week. All right, this week, we're gonna take the word gaz. Gaz, like G-A-Z, it means bite, gaz. Okay, then we're gonna add the word an. An means poop, an means poop. Then we're gonna add bor. Bor is, short, is, the, is uh, for boridan, which means to cut. Bor, to cut, right? So you take gaz, you add an, you add bor, you get gazambor. And gazambor does not mean to take a bite from some poop and then cut it, but rather it means pliers. Yeah, pliers. I have no idea why. I don't know how this reminds someone of taking a bite out of poop and cutting it. But gazambor, now go fix something. Hey everybody, Mazurbani, Persian word of the week. This week, we're gonna take tan. Tan means body, okay? Then when we say tanet, it means your body. Then our second word is mikhare, mikhare. Mikhare means does it itch? So when we take tanet and add mikhare, we get tanet mikhare, which doesn't mean does your body itch, but rather it means you want me to smack you. Like that's what my mom used to tell us when we were kids messing around in the back of the car. She would turn around and she'd be like, hey, Tanet mikhare, want me to smack you? So I'm not saying smack your kids, but I'm saying it's a great way to threaten your kids to shut them up because we used to shut up. If my mom turned around, Tanet mikhare, we'd be like, mm, mm. so that's a great way to get people to shut up. Or if your husband is bothering you and, and like poking at you, you go, hey, Tanet mikhare. Or if someone says something stupid to you on social media, Tanet mikhare. Hey everybody, Maz Jobrani here, Persian word of the week. This week, we're gonna do one word that you can use in several ways, all right? The first way we're gonna use it, I want you to say the word kuftet, kuftet, and then add beshe. Kuftet beshe is when, for example, someone is stuffing their face, you go kuftet beshe, like uh, stop eating so much. When someone's gluttonous, kuftet beshe, right? Someone uh, keeps uh, making more and more money and, and showing off with it. Kuftet beshe. That's number one. The second way we can use kuft is kufte. Kufte is a Persian meatball. It's delicious. Mmm, kufte. Okay. Third way we're going to use kuft is to tell someone to shut up. When someone is saying something stupid to you on social media, you go kuft. Or someone says something stupid at the grocery store, kuft. Okay, so you have kuftet beshe, stop eating so much. Kufte, delicious. Kuft, shut up. Go for it. Hey everybody, Maj Brani here with our Persian words of the week. This week, our first word is shikam. 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 Shikam means stomach. Okay, second word is mu. Mu means hair, like what the cow does. Mu, hair. I don't have any. Now you take shikam and you add it to mu, you get shikamu. Shikamu does not mean hairy stomach, but rather it's someone who eats a lot. Like, you know, the guy who's sitting at the buffet just picking and eating and keeps coming back? Shikamu. You see him next time going to the buffet for the 10th time? Shikamu. Shikamu. Now, here's a twist. The word for uncle in Persian is amu. Okay? So if you have an uncle who's eating a lot at the house party, at the family party, he's amu shikamu. Huh? Amu Shikamu. Go for it. You just learned four words. Amu Shikamu. Bye. Hey everybody, Maj Brani here. Persian words of the week. This week, we're going to start with the word be. Be in Persian is a pronoun for without. It means without. Then we're going to add kar. Kar means work. Now you take be, you add it to kar, you get be kar. Be kar means without work, but it also means someone has got nothing better to do. So like you're driving along, 
during the work day and you look out and there's a bunch of people playing golf and they should be at work, you go, those guys are bikar. Or, or if you want to say it to your friend, you would say bikari. So like uh, your friend calls you up and says, hey, let's go on a trip to Alabama. You go bikari. You got nothing better to do? You want to go to Alabama? Or like uh, you're in Los Angeles and uh, your friend calls you up from New York, says, hey, let's put on some headphones and play a video game uh, on our computers from coast to coast. You go, be cutty. You got nothing better. Get a job. Video games. You're a grown man. Be cutty.